Wait, you know the questions? I can ask you, ask them for you. Yeah, yeah that's now start so, asking yeah. questions yeah. here. So okay. we'll, pick, we'll pick the best ones. <laughs> <laughs> Eurovision royalty, yes, it is. We do have Eurovision royalty here. Royalty? Yeah. You, yeah. Well, oh, no, that's too much. <laughs> Look, the no. legend himself, England, everyone's England is royal, you know. We <laughs> just, I'm just a musician, a songwriter. <laughs> but in, in, in this world, you're, you know, what's well, your favourite tree? It's, it's, they it's, love it's, that it's one. a wonder. <laughs> it's a wonder to be here, you know, after all those years. And as I remember, a little piece is 35 years ago. And then you see how time goes by. This was in Harrogate, and 35 years later, you sit here, and I'm with 25th time I'm here. 25th so it's, time. it's a little jubilee, yes, and, and I'm so, you know, say I'm more than happy, you know, because uh, San Marino gave me the chance to do it again. And I said only with Valentina, you know, and she's just. And 25 more we've got. What do we have? So um, a question that I read before was which of your favorite. Which of your songs that you sent to Eurovision is your favorite? I think that's like asking which is your favorite child, guys. Yes. <laughs> like, I, it's a bit difficult. Well, there are, you know, to say, it, frankly, there's so many, you know. We did Chinggis Khan, you know, we did... Oh, that's one of my favorites. A, a, a little piece, which was really theater. Uh, we're giving a party, I remember, in Dublin, and Harrogate was naturally the, the highlight. But uh, I also liked, uh, so please remember, Journey to Jerusalem, mm. Turkish yeah. Turkish uh, group living Kipfert. in Germany. Kipfert. Yes, this was Selam, Selam, last and here to Journey to Jerusalem. Yeah. This was one of my favorite. <laughs> we were very unlucky with some songs, you know. Corinna May, when she sang and she was blind and nobody knew it and she was just performing like a blind person. So it didn't look so good, mm. but she's a great singer and yeah. it was last, you know. Absolutely. And then when I remember, yeah, Chris Alida, Chrysalis, and the, we had weeks, they said, okay, it's either going to be Denmark or San Marino to win, you know. Yeah. They said, okay, this is it. if San Marino wins, they have to build, build a, a, a tent around San Marino to, to do this. <laughs> and then we were not even in the final, you know, we were missing by two points. Oh. And so I really hope that uh, Valentina this time has a chance to do a final. You guys can make it happen. You guys need to vote for San Marino. Oh, this would be so great. You know, it's such a little country. And when you see 35 million, uh, 35,000 people, and we have more than 2 million hits. Oh, and this the, was just the party oh, song of the I year. I mean, this is, this is unbelievable, you know. And, and Jimmy is uh, such a great, great artist too. You know, he's he played Obama. Yeah, you know, he, he played we've had him on Cinderella for Michael Jackson, and I'm proud to have those artists. You know, and this is and a great one from Danny62. Do you have a large supply of unheard songs for future contests? Sorry, um, songs that you've written that you haven't released yet for to tell you the for next yes. year. <laughs> yes, but I don't know if, they, if I have the strength to do this every time. You know, because it costs a lot of strength. It's almost mm. half a year of work. Yeah. And you have to work with the artist, you have to work with the choir, then you do the choreography and we choose what dresses. And it's, it's such a long time story, you know. And at 70, you really have to <laughs> get yourself. But you're doing it for the love. You clear, do you fall in love back, with your. The back vision? hurts, the feet hurts, the brain <laughs> hurts, thank God. All the rest hurts. <laughs> so you just hope that, yeah, to go to the final, we have not been lucky in the last years. But uh, it's a big wish. I, I'm. Praying for it, so you guys, you have it's to so make sweet. it happen because we so love. Sweet. No, it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's so nice. So th that leads into another question that was asked a little bit earlier. I can't remember who was there, but it was someone who asked, "Do you fall in love with Eurovision again every time you're here, or, is, well, or does the love never fade away?" No, it's actually Eurovision gives me a lot of strength. And as I said, I was very ill for a few years ago, and you always you need a. a, 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 a a goal where you have to, which brings you up again, you know. Absolutely. And uh, in Germany, the music business is almost English and American. And if you write a song and you say, hey, you need to write artists to do it, you know. Yeah. And it always took me back to life. It brought me back to life. Well, as uh, as Sasha here says, I think Eurovision keeps you young, Mr. Siegel. Yes. Looking great. <laughs> well, I, I'm not young anymore, as I said, but it keeps my brain, you know. The body gets exactly. older. What can you do, you know? But as some people say you're still in your, uh, young yeah, in your brain. Yeah, as long as you've got it up there. And as I said, that's why this song, uh, Spirit of the, as a Spirit of the Eurovision Night, Spirit 
of the night is is is, 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 is not it's not up to date on on dance or on, it doesn't work in every format you know there's so much format radio mm. today it's just a song i wrote out of my heart it originally was called feeling of the night feeling oh, of the night and that's then we, a, that's a hot tip for you and, there, and then we had the idea to to do this duet and i had a german lady mm -hmm. and a an musician from london yep. steve barnacle and I said, you together write the song, you know, a woman and a man write the lyrics. And Steve is a great musician, he plays in a band since many years, and he fell in love with a German German girl, and they sp spent one time in London, and the other time every second oh. weekend. Um, and uh, I thought, if they could write the lyrics, this would be perfect. And they wrote a great lyric, a woman and a man write a better Absolutely. lyric than a man for a couple, <laughs> you know. So what well, their thoughts, how to meet, how to enjoy, uh, music and and I think this fits together with with with, uh, with Valentina and especially also Jimmy who is really great. Yeah, he oh, is a musician. The streamers love him. They yes, absolutely love him. Uh, you know, music people have a hard life, and he really worked hard his way from Detroit, and then he was on tour with Sister Rella, and then finally he played Obama. You know, which, yeah, which is, we which linked you to earlier. Which, remember which, that? I mean, which he did very well. Mm. You know. And, and so I wish those two, and they met, and when I invited Valentina to come from San some, uh, some Marino to Munich, she said, oh, do you want me to do Eurovision again? Yes. I said, let's see. Well, I told her, come here. If you like it, you do it. If you don't like it. And at the same time, I met Jimmy. So I put them together, and it was immediately the first oh. love of two musicians. Perfect. You know? And, and uh, I think you can see that. They look like they're having the best time together in and around yes, the stage. because they're real true stage people you know yeah. and you see it they're not young anymore but they give all the power i have like i do <laughs> exactly exactly guys other questions what are your memories of the night valentina qualified in 2014 what are my memories memories from that night yeah the night of chrysalis uh no when maybe qualified maybe qualified yes uh, Yes, it was the first time that San Marino qualified, and we fell in each other's arms, oh. you know. And the next day we were unlucky. It really was. But there are so many good songs, you know. There are always so many good songs of so many good artists, and everybody does his best he can, you know. And you have to be lucky also. And San Marino, it's a small republic in Italy. There's not those friends around, you know. We, you have Ireland, you have, you know, every Sweden has Norway. They have all, and they're all by theirsel themselves with such a small. Let's say a popu population. Yeah. So I really hope that maybe they're a little dark horse. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> no, I think I think a dark horse. It's got to be like a disco horse. That's that's what that's what well, San Marino it's, is. Well, it's a little bit jazz. Um, uh, somehow a jazz musician. Definitely. And, and and then on the other way, it's disco. It's a little bit retro, but at the same time, it's up to date. We have 130 right to beat they want, you know. Her, and, well, the, I. The only thing that I I've heard of the three minute mix and there's a five minute mix. There's a five minute mix. Yeah. I only listen to the five minute mix because I can't get enough. I'm. <laughs> I have it for you. I especially brought it with me to have it. It's a very oh. very few. Oh, That's thank you so you much. Hey there. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You have everything on, on oh. it. The five minute version, which I personally love. Yeah, me too. I read the radio version and the so called Eurovision version, which is different. So and exciting. So, Yes. Thank you so much. My housemate is going to hear this every day. <laughs> yes, and they have fun. We, we tested it in the discotheques. And people really go with it and enjoy the spirit of the night. The club version. It goes for five and five minutes and six seconds, guys, and it is quality. Yes, thank you. It, it has made my day. And Ru <laughs> I appreciate it. Yes. I appreciate it. Oh, okay, guys. Well, do you want to send lots of love, love this way? Um, Please do and give little San Marino a chance. They would be really great. I would love that. Any other questions? I could stay with you all day. Yeah, <laughs> I think they'd be happy to. In 1982, was it your idea that Nicole sang in German, English, French and Dutch in her reprise? That's a good question. Because when we won in Germany, we prepared international versions, you know. So we made also a so-called long cut version. Mm. But actually, she herself decided this night to do this. And I was sitting on the piano, still singing, I miss Jim Fried, and then she said, uh, Que peux-je faire uh, avec cette chanson? Or, in Betty Fried, and she started it herself. That was really Nicole's choice. And uh, we were somehow crying, <laughs> just 
winning, and it was unbelievable, you know. And it was Harrogate, and what a lovely little city. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I still remember that. And one of my friend Marcus, he did a special a few years ago, and the the mayor came there and gave me a personal invitation to Harrogate. And I'm sorry I didn't do it yet. I have to do it one of these days. Have I will ever, have to come to Harrogate again. You've never been back again to Harrogate. Pardon? You've never been back to Harrogate. Again. It just didn't happen, you know. But I have to do it next time. I take the chance and I go to yeah. Harrogate to see. It has changed a little bit, you know. And the old member ran. They took out the first three rows from the theater to put in the cameras. Oh, wow. It changed quite a bit. Yeah. Know, we did live, we played <laughs> everything on the piano, and I, I remember sitting there in my white little suit, and Nicole with a white <laughs> guitar. But that's 35 years ago, and thank God I'm still here. Yeah, thank God, because we've got the spirit of the night for 2017 Eurovision. Yeah, knock on wood. <laughs> How many times have you performed on the Eurovision stage yourself? Performed? I have performed with a little piece. And I have performed at theater, 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 and I performed in G in Germany in the pre-finals where I did not make it uh, two times. Yes, but uh, mm. the theater I played. You remember maybe with the puppets? I had the puppets on the hand. Da, dum, da, yep. You guys can't see, but every time Ralph talks about music, his hands just start going, and it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the theater is uh, my favorite of your songs. Yes, uh, I there it. I performed with brilliant. the pantomimes, mm -hmm. and that was in 1980. You know. And Johnny Blue then was 1981, and we were missed by four points because Switzerland didn't give us no points. Yeah, we could have won, but England won. Hey, <laughs> I'm from Australia. I'm not from England. Oh, you're from Australia? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what's my biggest pleasure always? That my biggest song in Australia was Moscow. You know Moscow? Yeah. Moscow, Moscow. Da, 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 well, da, 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 da. Also, um, Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Moscow, uh, Moscow will be. Yeah, it was number one in, in Australia. It was amazing. I love this. Because I remember I was in the car with my mum and I was playing a Eurovision playlist. And last and year, Australia was my personal winner. I said it everywhere. Mine it too. was fa fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. This lady sitting there up there and singing. I was in Stockholm and I said, she's going to win. And well, you never know. Well, now we're in Ukraine, but that's okay. You know. What is your favorite this year? Sorry. What's your favorite this year, apart from your own, of course? Who is my favorite? To tell you the truth, I have not heard all. No, it's too many. Forty-four. You know, I've I've seen. What did I see? I've seen Belgium was doing pretty good. I've seen Russia, which. In the wheelchair, yep. and I felt bad for the for the girl. You know, if you see somebody, it's a possible political situation I don't like. But it was terrible for a girl in the wheelchair having the chance uh, singing there, and I felt really sorry for her. I like France. Yeah, France, that's a good one too. France is very. It's not so down the normal road, you know. And as I said, so many, there are so many four chord bar songs, you know, which they now they write. Putting four bars behind the next four bars and then start singing on it. And I'm the old time writer, you know, I'm just writing on the piano. Okay. Spirit of the night, spirit, <laughs> feeling of the night. <laughs> so it's good. just, it's, it's a very, very jazzy song. Oh, it is. You can't help but want to <coughs> dance along. And the thing is, that's what you see in the performance. You, and when they do it, you just go, Yes, they're having a good time. I'm having a good time. They're having a Everyone's good time. having a good time. Yeah, yeah, well, this is this is the most important. This is our. I mean, we love to entertain people. You know, this is our goal. And if we can entertain people and touch the heart, Absolutely. we have to do both. Yeah. And Valentina really, she deserves it so much. She has a real hard life. You know, if you live in a small country as a jazz singer, you know, yeah. it's already hard for jazz singers around the world. But if you live in such a small country. And then you can perform there for a few hundred uh, marks or, or buck, bucks or yeah. euros. And, and uh, she deserves it so much. She lived two years in London, you know, just trying to make the scene there, trying to get into the musical scene and all that. She's such a wonderful girl, you know. So I really hope she has she a is, You guys love her as well, don't you? We all, everybody loves her. Uh, how long does it take you to write a song? That's a pretty good question, Craig. Well, that's a very simple question. You have the idea or you don't. And if the idea comes up, then it, for me it takes weeks and months. Because the first structure is something like, you know, they once asked Michelangelo <laughs> to paint the 16, the yep. 16 uh, Capella, you know? So he looked up, said, I can do it. And then for three years, with seven people, he laid down and finished it. 
That's a little bit like. So, how long did Spirit of the Night take to write? Well, I wrote it in March, yep. and I was in America, and one night I was all by myself, and I said, "Okay, that's the feeling of the night, feeling of the night," and I continued to to work on it, and then in autumn when we started thinking about Eurovision, yep. you know, you know how things are. Absolutely. That's the only thing I can do besides my musical work that I'm doing, and in, in this moment. I saw the duet and I saw Valentina and I met Jimmy and then I saw, as I said, I got those two writers and then we made Spirit instead of Match Made feeling. in Heaven. And, and then we worked hard as always, changed the lyrics three, four times. Then I made a demo with my choir singers to play it Jimmy and to play it Valentina. Not only with my voice. But <laughs> I'm singing pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, it sounds better with the girl and the woman in. So you make a demo and you change it again and you rewrite it. So. Uh, I think I had a three or four finished version before Jimmy and, and, and uh, Valentina even heard it. Yeah, it, it's stunning. I love. I, this is a great question, Mimi, the ESE. How many songs have you written in total? I can tell you, in total, I cannot count. But it's two, over 2,000 titles released. Released, I produced over 2,000 titles, everyone myself. Well, this is why they call that's, you that's royalty. Yes, no. 2000. But you know, you start writing a song, then you see the lyrics, then you get the musicians in. You make the first demo. I sing all the demos myself first. You know, then you get an arranger, then you get the musicians, then you talk about the arrangement, then you go in the studio, you do it with the musicians, then you come to the singer, then comes the choir, and then you start mixing. Either one day, three days, or four weeks. You know, so it, those three minutes which pass by quickly are more work, more work than, than it's ever been more before. work than you guys realize there's so much that goes on behind behind the scenes here some people have no idea this is like when you go in the louvre or the museum and you watch a painting say, i like it and you go the next i don't like it you know <laughs> and how much a painter how many, much time he yeah, needed hours, to do months. this painting that's the same thing with us but you either like it or you don't like it no matter how many weeks and nights he worked on it You guys, can we keep it in English, please? Is my English so bad? <laughs> no, no, no. I can't. I don't. Know, I can't answer a question when it's. Do not you have in Italian English. listeners? Yeah, or we have French listeners. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> All I can world. do in French and Italian <laughs> as well. <laughs> no, no. What inspires you when you write songs? That's a good one. Luke. Well, uh, it's the artist. Most of the time, it's the artist. Because if you have an artist like we had Peter Alexander, or yeah. I produced Mireille Mathieu and 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 and, and oh God, Patrick Duffy, you know, yep. it's always the artist because it's a personality who has to carry the song, you know, to bring it over. So if, if you have an older guy with, let's say, Peter Alexander, had for, he was 50 years in show business, then you think, what can he give to the people? Mm. And for me, it's always the lyrics in the beginning, the idea of the lyrics. And, 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 and then you have to see that you entertain the people or you give them something to listen to which touches their heart or which makes them happy or feel good. And who doesn't <coughs> feel happy and feel or feel good when they're listening to Spirit of the Night? You guys do. Excuse me. I do. I, I feel do. good. That's nice talking to you. Really yeah, enjoy <laughs> Never done this. Is there any artist you would love to write a song for? There are many. Yes, yes there are many. There's some some great artists everywhere in this yeah. world, you know, and thank God I was able to learn Italian and French and English. That's mm -hmm. why I let's say work for this Asia from French and say Tema V. We didn't make it, it was in Switzerland only number six. But for me are the main thing is they are musicians, you know. I I love people singing, but if they don't sing well, it's terrible, you know. And and they perform with with I worked with Petula Clark many years ago, you know. And, and this are ladies. She was so great, you know. Yeah. Such a great lady. And as I said, with Mireille Mathieu and Liz Asia and as I said I worked with did five albums with the Bellamy brothers, you know. Mm. Country music. I love country music, you know, which is also something in my heart. And as I lived in Paris, uh, love to write French so songs. And it's it's just a the personality counts. The personality is everything. And then I, and you know, the meeting Valentina and Jimmy earlier today. You guys will clearly see that their personalities match Spirit of the Night perfectly. Perfect. Let's hope. Perfect. Hope for them that the Spirit is helping them a little bit. Yeah, we all need the Spirit from somewhere. <laughs> you know, it's not the Holy Ghost. It's the Spirit. It is. It, it, in yeah.
Is it true you were at the very first Eurovision? Sorry? Someone's asked if you were at the very first Eurovision. My first Eurovision was in 1974 uh, in Brighton. And mm, ABBA won. Yeah. And ABBA was wonderful. And we were number four. Olivia Newton John were at the same same uh, same points with us. Uh, bye bye, I love you, love you, da 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 da. And she sang it was a French English accent, you know, and it was she sang in French. So Volevo, and it was so bye bye, I love you. <laughs> but it was so nice. She was so charming. She was a she's an English English girl, you yeah. know. And I I found her in 1971. And the first song I was did was it was goodbye, mama. Goodbye, yeah. Mama, which was a pretty big success in, in her start. And, and then Luxembourg came along and said, can you go for Luxembourg? I said, yes, but she doesn't speak French, so she has to learn French. So, okay, to the rave song to do. It was very nice. It was 74. Oh, Tarski knows a lot about you. I thought it was Eurovision in 1956 as your father was the conductor. No, he was not the conductor. He wrote the song Telephone together with... with um, it was Margaret Hilscher, she sang some Telephone, Telephone, yes. And there was, an, I think it was 57, but I'm not sure. 56 or 57. They're very they're very thorough at their research. They will find out every, every and anything about anyone who even just briefly walks past in the background. So <laughs> No, it was 50, 57, I think. Well, it could be 56. I was just nine years old. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Samuel, great question. If you entered again, what kind of song would you like to send? Another disco track or back to ballads? Uh, I, I don't don't think about disco and I don't think about ballads. I just try to write a song for the artist. I'm able or able to work because the artist depends on his personality. You know? And Valentina has so much so much uh, musicality. And I started as a little more jazzy song. And uh, if you hear the bridge. You know, it's all other harmonies, it's very yeah. way round, and it depends on the artist and the potential, and the artist has to feel, I can go on stage with this, you know. If you, if you scratch him, you have to <laughs> sing this, it's got to be disco, it's got to be 130 beat, bong, 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 it's not working. Yeah, absolutely. So, it's, it's, it's the personality of the artist. I cannot read this even. I, need, need, I need glasses. <laughs> Uh, Luke said his favorite song of yours is Montenegro 2009. I loved that song. I really loved it. This was really, and she was a great singer, you know. Get me out of here, out of here, out yeah. of my life. This was uh, two points. We missed by the final. Two points, you know. And no points from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> For all those Germans watching, you need to give him all your points, please. Come on, you know. <laughs> okay. uh, you know that I'm the only German writer in this Eurovision? Really? And I couldn't, I couldn't go for Germany, so I'm the only German writer for, for the Eurovision this year. Yeah. And I'm proud to do this, you know, and I'm grateful to this little country that uh, I can do it, you know. Yeah, absolutely. This is a good one from Fibble. Do you prefer working with new singers like Anita and Michelle or experienced singers like Valentina? Well, uh, Anita and Michelle was given to me. They said, please do something for them. And we did three different songs for them. And I think we picked the wrong song. The song was too too heavy for for the girl, you know. Uh, Michelle was, could do it, everything, but we had a, actually another song, which I personally loved more, but then everybody said, come on, Chain of Light is the right thing, it's another peace song. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I had another song for them. Would you send a song like the Julian Eurovision song contest? To tell you the truth, it's not the rule. They say that the kids are supposed to write the songs oh, themselves. Oh, I don't think that happens. It's changed the rule. Yeah, it's, it's changed. changed. I don't know. I've never, so I've never seen it. You have to work with the kid in the projects. Uh, I would love it. depends on the kid. You know, if the kid is uh, not only talent or it's only not a kid like this, if you have the think that he's a little Michael Jackson These or something kids, like that. I've been to Junior Eurovision twice and yeah. those kids are so focused, so yes, but, dedicated. Yes, it's the final ones, but but you have to first some other the pre isn't there a pre selection? Oh uh, it depends which country. Yeah. Some will just well, pick it. Some... Germany has never shown it. Germany is not in this pool and they've never went on I, I think it's San Marino has been there twice. What? San Marino have Yes have been San Marino there. but I'm living in Germany, you know. And Germany has never uh, joined, uh, showed it. 
now as they show Voice of Kids, maybe they do it now too. And England is and allowed to do Voice of Kids as well, so you know. That's a great show. Yeah. We have that in Germany, they're wonderful kids. But you have to see that the kid is ready to do it, mm. and I think it goes up to 16? Uh, up to 14? I think 15, 14? 14? Yeah. 14. So you have to feel, if the kid is only a kid taken from mama to go on stage, yeah. I most of the kids, I had m many uh, parents who brought their kids to me, and then I said, they have talent or not? If they had no talent, I said, well, whatever. If they have talent, I say, let them make sports, and let them study a little piano, mm -hmm. and don't grab them on stage too early. You yeah. know? So some are ready with 13, 14 years, some are not. Mm. So you should not grab them, take them out of their normal life, tell them to play piano, to make sports and to study, and 16, 17 is the right year. Okay, this competition is for kids, so it has to be the right kid. Mm. And maybe it plays piano when it's young, like I did, and I, I played accordion and drums all my life since I was five, six years old. So they have to be, how do you say, born for this, you know, you have to be born. You cannot only hear my child sings good, yeah, every child sings good, absolutely. you know. And some parents take their children there, just sing. It has to be, you have to, if you see Michael Jackson when he was six years old, Nicole, it, yeah. Nicole was five years, she stood on the on the chair and sang, wah, mama, <laughs> you know. And so there are some talents which are young enough, but don't forget, if you have a little success there, it changes your life as a mm. kid. And I believe it should. you should train it till 16, 18, 20, when you grow up, and then you have to decide, do I want to live this life? It's not such an easy life, you know? Definitely It's not. like my musical people who I work a lot with. It's a hard life to be a musician. It's not Absolutely. when you're successful, they will say, hey, you're great. The, the back scene is very hard. Mm. So, <coughs> you have to survive doing this. Do you have any tips or advice for young songwriters? <coughs> I'm just having a cough break. <laughs> Excuse me. No. Young singers. First of all, try to learn music. Guitar. Everyone should learn music. Guitar. Piano. No, no, not, I don't have uh, in details. Play piano. Try to get the feeling for music, for, for guitar, and do a lot of sports. You know, two things are very important. You have to be fit and you have to be talented. And the best thing is you, if you're outrageous. If you sing like everybody else, it's very hard. Mm -hmm. And this gives you mama and papa. You know, you can't you can't buy a voice like Celentano or or Frank Sinatra. And you cannot buy it. You can't. Yeah. But if you have it, then you have to have somebody who knows it, and that's the right way. And then you have to be lucky with the songs. The song is everything. You know, some people sing well all their life, and then they never were lucky to have the right song. That's the way it happens, guys. How often do you actually listen to Eurovision songs every day? <laughs> never. I do. <laughs> never, never. Uh, I mean, I have my my song song records albums. Mm -hmm. You know, where all the Eurovision songs, but I don't hear my own albums all the way. No, no. no I, I'm working every day, and when people ask me, how did you do it to write 2,000 songs? I said, very easy. One a week. And if you write for 40 years, if you write one a song a week which is my profession, then you do a lot and yeah. you throw everything away and after a few months you say, okay, I've written 20, 30 songs, pick out the best for the right artist. Perfect. It's a work like everybody else. Some people go to school in the morning, some people go to, the, to their job. I go in my office or on the piano in the studio and work. Okay, guys, well, we might we might wrap it up there because you've been asking questions for a very long time now. We don't, Thank you very we much. We don't want to keep him for the whole time. So, um, send all your love and uh, we'll, we'll be back in just a second.